I have finished one wall and I'll go over there and show you more in a minute but uh, this is the completed wall hey timber geek <laughs> so there's going to be a light up there that's the outlet for the light but and of course we haven't done the other side yet. This is the one we're getting ready to do over here. But we got the ceiling and down this big curved side. Well, not that curved. Well, it's curved up there. Not curved, but slanted. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not, I'm not saying that you made a curved wall. Would have been quite a cool trick with straight boards. Well, relatively straight Ooh, Let there be light. <laughs> Getting ready to make scary scaffolding again. All right. Anyway, there you go. We left the beam open, exposed, so that's cool. Okay, I told you guys I'd shoot some video of what we've been up to for the ceiling here. Um, same pine that we used for the door that I was showing you and for the uh, stars and whatever the heck it was, moons in the last video. Um, this is where we're using this wood. This is uh, our ceiling and the upstairs. As you can tell, there's uh, the staircase is right there. The floor is different. The floor is yellow pine, two inch thick. Um, and right over there, there will be a bookcase. This is my <laughs> to-be sewing room and uh, weaving room. That's my loom there. Anyway, Brace going to build a bookcase there, and then the stair rail will come up here, wrap around the corner, uh, and attach to that bookcase. But anyway, so that's the staircase, and then this is the ceiling with the three... Um, let me turn the lights on. So we have three spots here and we finally made it over the top of the staircase that was tough we had boards across there we were standing on there me being height challenged hey Jake a little Jake action Jake doesn't like the stairs he doesn't go up the he can go up the stairs he can't he falls when he goes down the stairs so he's w leery of them and the cats sit on the stairs and torment him which they're not right now but anyway so the ceiling has um, the uh, soy insulation, blown-in soy insulation. I recommend it. It's wonderful. And uh, we have made it to the edge of the attic bump-up, which I might put some video in here of how we did that in the attic. But you can see we did the same tongue and groove up there. And uh, this is the staircase to the attic. And there is the door we showed the video of. And... Uh, Oops. Let, me, let, me move, let me move around here. So, um, there is more wood there and the light switch, which isn't going to be that. There's going to be a chandelier there. But, uh, and the chimney. Woohoo! So, right now, like I said, we're doing, oh, sorry, doing the ceiling. And Wraith has here, he's put all the nails in. Those are still the rod head nails. He, started, he starts with screws, drywall screws, to hold the boards up. And then he replaces them with the rod head. Right there. And they stay exposed. They don't get countersunk or anything. Part of our rustic look. But over here, he still has, he has some nails in, but some are screws. Anyway, so we just put this last board in. It was special cut for that. And now we're going to be doing across our bedroom and across the uh, my uh, sewing room so right now we just have three boards that go across the bedroom a lot of stuff to do in this room and we still have to finish the floors some of these floors were some of the wood was planed and some wasn't so it looks crappy but it really is fine it just needs a sanding which is going to happen shortly um anyway I mostly wanted to show you the ceiling. We're over halfway done because this part is done here and we don't, because of the attic bump up, 
we don't have, we only have that part. And the reason this isn't done is we're going to use scraps to do that. And up there you'll see a whole house fan that we have. So that goes in the attic and that'll suck the hot air out in the summer. Anyway, that's it. What do you think? It's going to be cool. I'm loving it. Rafe does a fantastic job. All you've heard is the string, string theory. Yes. <laughs> Here you go. Of course, that's not the string theory. The greatest straight edge in the world is a piece of string. There you go. Uh, that was all right. It's nice and flush now. Seems real good on those nails. Yeah. Because they get the rough forged heads. Yeah. Yep, let's run it down the line of nails so I can keep them aligned. And know where to put the next nail. Good for this guy. Yeah, it's a short one or a narrow one. Right. Yeah. Some, it's a short one as well. It's good. One final little shot. We did finish. Well, I'll show you. We're almost finished. He's still putting nails in. And there is a piece over here. We need one more board, but it's too wide for one board. So we're going to take a piece of pine and rip an edge to it. But this is above my studio, my sewing room, and it's done. And then to continue, this is, but this is above our bedroom, and this is done too. Except for this final board, which we're working on, the ceiling's done. Nice, huh? A mass of wood. the smoke alarm. And in the centers of the room we will have ceiling fans. These are the boxes that contain them and that's what they will look like. They're very very cool. Hey 
It's Kira. <laughs> <laughs> a little close-up action. Hey, Kira. Hey, fluffy girl. This is our old kitty. This is Kira. That's not the best side of Kira. Kira, come and see the camera. Oh, Showing aren't off she her cute? <laughs> Showing off her assets. How cute is she, Kira? Oh, you fluffy girl.